Hey everybody and welcome to Random Retro. Continuing with the list uh, that I covered, uh, that I mentioned in the last Random Retro episode, we are playing Joe and Mac for the NES. Alright, for some reason my controller's having a little bit of time popping up. Uh, there we go. Alright, so, Joe and Mac is a platformer. Uh, all I really know about this game is that you play as a couple of cavemen, and the goal is to save some cave women. So, that's what we're going to do here. Alright, get ready. Player one has three lives left. Okay, so your B button is going to throw axes and your A button is going to jump. Okay. Okay, uh... Okay, and I am... Okay, and all these pterodactyls are annoying the hell out of me already. Okay, um, let's try this again. Yeah, the controls are... Okay, my weapons aren't strong enough to defeat any of the... Okay, what the f f f f f what the fuck am I doing? Okay. <sighs> okay. Um, I, I don't know what just happened there. Um... Okay, I don't know how I trigger this fight in the first place. Okay, um... Okay, let's see what the options are. Alright, alright, so you can... have one or two players. Uh, uh, okay, select to... Alright, turn on and off the music and the sound effect, so... Let's try this again. Mm. 
Okay, so uh, I'm trying to figure out if I can actually kill these things. I can hit them, but I can't fire fast enough to actually kill them. I mean, I, I'm going to presume there's a strategy to playing this game, and diving right into the game is probably the worst way to expect to beat this game. Uh, obviously, I can't run from everything. I mean, I tried doing that, and... I just got thrown into a boss fight that I couldn't handle. Oh, uh, the controls themselves seem fine. Uh, I, I'm half tempted to see if there's an auto fire option. Now it does appear that at times the character will run up and down. Uh, between the foreground and the background. Uh, if it's not random, I don't know how to trigger it. And it might... Oh! Okay, okay, I can do this. I did not realize I could do this. Oh, and look, green apples for health. Okay, uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do about the T-Rex. Oh. See, uh, you notice how I'm at the top of the background? Oh! Oh, cool, I can... I can double jump. Okay, so you really just have to, ow, play with the uh, controls to figure out how to do what you gotta do. I have no idea what these, what the life bar on the side is, unless that's player two. Come on. Okay, if I'm holding up whenever I jump, uh, I jump higher. Okay, that is boss life bar. Okay, so... Alright, I figured out a strategy for this boss.
There we go. Well, I defeated the first boss. Oh, okay, now I'm going up a mountain. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I'm going up the backs of dinosaurs. Brilliant. Oh, look, uh, I've got a new weapon. I can throw a wheel now. Okay, let's try that again. Um, never mind. Wow, I, I... Okay, I got... I got a high score. Oh, cool. Alright, so... That is Joe and Mac. Alright, uh, controls, uh, take some getting used to. You really have to play around with the controls to figure out what kind of moves you can do. But, like, the gameplay is challenging when you first start, but it becomes easier as you f figure out what you've got to do. Mm. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know, if... Just like with any of my gameplay videos, if it gets a hundred uh, thumbs up, then I will play some more. Uh, I, I think I want to make this a full let's play and actually try and beat the entire game. Um, if anyone thinks they'd be interested in that, then get this video some thumbs up. Um... If, you, if you've never played the game, try it out for yourself. It's actually not that bad. I know, I'm probably a little generous on games, but, you know, I like a game with challenge. And if I can go through, immediately know the controls uh, without a tutorial the first time I, put the I turn the game on, then the game's going to be too easy. Unless, of course, it's full of puzzles that can stump me, which, uh, the, uh, the only NES games I can think of that had puzzles that would confuse me was the Lolo series, which I might, I, I might, uh, play that on, on random retro sometime, but for the, for the time being, um, all right, the platforming isn't. Uh, I w I was expecting more platforming than this, but you know it's more of a it's more of a side scroller pseudo shooter. I mean, since you're sitting there throwing ammunition at incoming enemies to kill them, but you don't really have all of the platforming elements that you expect from a platformer. Um, the bosses are challenging, and each one seems to have slightly different strategy. Probably more than slightly, but yeah. So, definitely check this game out. Uh, it deserves a lot more love than it's gotten. Because, like I said, first time I ever heard of it was that video that I mentioned with the uh, underrated NES games. Uh, I've watched a documentary of someone actually going through trying to collect all of the NES titles and 
I don't even remember seeing Joe and Mac on the list of what they were trying to collect. I might be wrong. Uh, it might have just had such uh, overlooked, uh, such a small amount of uh, info on it that in the documentary that it was easy to forget, which isn't much better than it not being there in the first place. So, uh, look at that. Uh, what? Rank five of the high scores? Not too bad. So, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game. Uh, you can join me in my Discord channel. You can join me. That'll be linked below. You can join me in the Blast Discord channel. That is linked in the Blast Mission Reviews playlist on any of those videos. Uh, I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Later.